Praise God. Praise God. And at that day, I felt the power of God come over the top of my head and all throughout my body. And, I, and all hate left my life. And, and since that day, the best thing that God has ever done for me, he taught me how to love again. He taught me how to love people and I've been able to love my mom. And I've been able to love people like never before and love strangers. My name is Weston Brown. I'm a, a welder in Southern Orange County. I attended uh, Fivefold Church for the first time on August 28th. I heard about Fivefold Church through uh, my brother's wife and she shared a couple videos and I started watching these videos and started out small but the Lord would come into my room like one time the Lord came into my room from these videos I believe and I, we've never spoken in that way before. It's never, me and the Lord have never been in a place where He was tangible where I could reach out and grab Him where when I go to bed at night, Jesus is laying there right next to me. I'm 28 years old now, and only because of sh a few short months of watching your videos, now God has come into my house, into my room. And when I come here, it is the same. When I come here, God shows up and speaks to me. On August 28th, I, I received deliverance. I came and I believed, and I was standing over there. and I didn't even get through the worship. We, I was only five minutes in, and, and and the demons started manifesting and I started shaking and demonic voices just started building and I had my eyes closed and I was looking down and I saw a woman in a white dress and sandals walking towards me and uh, I didn't know who it was I didn't know much about Catherine at that time and when she came into to my view she told me to look up and she told me uh, that I was being set free I saw her her blue eyes and there was so much forgiveness in her eyes. There was so much mercy in her eyes. There was so much acceptance in her eyes that I saw Jesus. And from that, from that day, I, I asked the Lord, instill that in me. Give me those eyes that Jesus is in there. And I was standing there, I was receiving, and, I, and a child came to me. And uh, a child grabbed me and it was prophetic because I had so much anger towards everyone. I had anger towards my mom. I had anger towards children. I had anger towards everybody. I hated myself. This child came to me and, and, and wrapped himself around me and I felt this rush of the love of the Lord come over to me. And even in, in that moment that I was, I was still like, why is this child holding me? Why is this child hugging me? I felt the love of the Lord just overcome me. He used the child even though I, because I hated children, but the love of the Lord came through the child and I was looking down and I was crying and I was shaking and, and uh, I didn't know this at the time but Catherine looked at me and she, um, she said be filled with the Holy Spirit and I wasn't even aware that she was looking at me. I wasn't aware that she was instructing to me. I wasn't aware, aware of any of it. I was looking down crying and then all of a sudden I started trembling even more and more and I got really hot and I got really sweaty and I fell back mm -hmm. and uh, my brother caught me and I went to the floor and a lot of the demonic attacks have ended. The suicidal thoughts were ending, uh, have ended and, and were taken away. I just proclaim the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited that he's completely renewed my heart, that men today come to me and they say, what's wrong with you? They say that people have said that they see Jesus in my eyes. It is happening. Jesus is being revealed to me every day. People are seeing Jesus in my life and I have random people come up to me and ask for prayer and I've never had that in my life because I've always been religious uh, but uh, religion was broken off of me on that day the Lord completely restored me and all the demonic temptations all the demonic touching all the demonic uh, uh, in sexual encounters that happened at night all of the things uh, all just random objects flying across the room um, being pulled out of my bed or, or just being pulled away or um, things that shouldn't move by themselves and uh, demonic tongues that that were happening and hearing demonic tongues and speaking demonic tongues was ending and now I speak uh, in a tongue that glorifies the Lord I speak um, with the Holy Spirit and all the evilness and all the wretchedness has just left my heart I'm completely set set free and, and uh, people are seeing that in my life and I glorify the Lord for doing that Hallelujah. This is a hugger? Oh. Yeah. I remember you, he says. Can you hug me that day? Thank you. 
I had such a hatred towards children my whole life. But now I'm 29 years old and I hated kids for a long time. <laughs> Praise God! Praise God! And that day I felt the power of God come over the top of my head and all throughout my body. And, I, and all hate left my life. And, and since that day, the best thing that God has ever done for me, He taught me how to love again. He taught me how to love people and I've been able to love my mom. And I've been able to love people like never before and love strangers. And it was all from that day. And it was all from that hug and God came over me. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, oh praise God. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Children are just coming and hugging him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Wow, Jesus. Wow, Jesus. Wow, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Jesus is amazing. Yes. Praise Jesus. Yes. Honey, you 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 that's seven now? That's seven now. What's your name, honey? Do you see? Do you know that's God that used you, hon? Did you hear what he said? I'm gonna repeat it because some people might not have heard you didn't all hear what Weston said, right? So Weston got delivered so powerfully in the park, I think it was last September. God's completely freed him, and now he's serving God powerfully in the church. He built the stage, praise, and it's changed his life so much. Hallelujah. But on that day that God delivered him and then baptized him in the Holy Spirit, all of a sudden this boy just felt moved in his heart by God to come and hug him. As he was, like right after he was free, and he was being baptized in the Holy Spirit, I think it was the same time, this boy just came and hugged him. And what Weston just said, is that his whole life he didn't love kids. He like hated kids. He didn't know why, he just did. And when he hugged him, God came upon him and he's been able to love not only kids, but his mom and other people in his life. Like he never could love them well before. So hon, you see how that was God using you. You know you have the Holy Spirit in you. That was God that led you the love of God that led you to hug him, hon, and that's how powerfully God used you. So keep it up. Keep being used by God like that. You're doing big things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 